MTD travel up and down the country to find engineers that know how to use different machines. Well, where can I find an engineer that knows how to use a Haas machine? Essentially, this video is all about Geo's perspective on Haas machines and how easy they are to use, and also the fact that this ST40 machine is ready to go and available. So, Geo, the VF2 was the machine, I believe, that you used to use. It was, Lindsay, a VF2 SS, um, and back in the day, um, before I got into the aerospace industry, I was using Fanuc and Hydenine. Um, and when I got into the aerospace industry, um, I started to program the Haas VF2 SS. And it was so easy to pick up because I'd add the Fanuc experience and it's 95% compatible with Fanuc. I'm no expert um, and I, I don't wish to be. It's 20 years ago, but some of the components that we were making on, on the Haas were critical landing gear for, aer for aeroplanes. So these parts needed to be made to the tightest of tolerances. They had to be repeatable. And the machine tool at the time w was absolutely perfect for the application. So you're telling me that you found the control system from a user's perspective very, very simple to use. Yep. I started on Hydenine, I moved into Fanuc, and then into Hass's own programming language. Really easy to pick up once I'd had the Fanuc experience. And some of the features on the Hass back then, and like I say, it was 20 years ago, were just so easy to, 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 to use. You know, you could copy and paste, you can create kind of labels, if you like, or macros um, within the program um, to, to repeat certain features. And yeah, it, it was very, very easy to use. And the machine tool at the time um, had kind of a side mount a tool changer, which kind of the tool changes were really quick to. So the old machine and the process was very quick. Um, it had a fourth axis rotary table on a Haas fourth axis rotary table at the time that is Haas's own and is fully integrated into the machine tool. It, it was... It, it was perfect for the application, Lindsay. And you're telling me 20 years ago, of course, a company like Haas that are at the forefront of technology is ever evolving. So there's going to be some great improvements now and today. And on the ST40, it is sitting here, but it is also ready to go. So tell me more about this particular model. Well, with this, this, this machine tool, I mean, it speaks for itself. You can see the kind of size of this machine tool and the kind of components that you could make on it. The, the turret, the 12 station turret, you can see the rigidity in, in that turret, the size of the, of the turret, the, the, the U-drill that's going into this mild steel component. Wow. It kind of emphasizes the, the kind of work that you can do on it. You've got a programmable tail stock there. Um, and for, for large turning parts, um, you know, simple 2D turning parts, it, it's, it's a perfect for machine for that kind of application. And of course you can have the long boring bar as well, so space is something that is very important. This is a big machine. Yeah, for the long boring bars there's a recess around the back there to accommodate that so you don't have any collisions if you're using stubbier tools on, on different positions of the turret. Um, so the, the layout of the machine is great, it's a slant bed machine, one piece casting, um, the evolutions in the programming language with the with, with, with the visual programming system it is great too I mean we, we've had a look at that today it's a it's a great um, evolution to, to the software and some of the other features as well are very very impressive to, to make these parts in a in a more efficient way. Now Haas have sold over 10,000 machines here in the UK which is a huge number and they've got their service and support to back all of that and in their eyes they see and if there is ever a problem with a machine because they make all of their equipment they say that they want to fix it first time so they expect if you're phoning up Haas and there's a problem at all with the machine they'll have an engineer out with a part and they want it fixed because it's all about getting that machine back up and running, which is a huge, huge feature and benefit to investing in a company. Um, anything else that you'd like to say about the machine? Just echoing what you say really, Lindsay, it's, it's all good and well supplying these machines and it's no luck that there's so many out in the field, but obviously if one was to go wrong, you want to know that it's well supported and NAS can definitely do that. It's a bit ironic, Geo, you're making aircraft parts, but you don't like flying. <laughs>